Hello and welcome back to Octopath Traveler. Uh, I haven't ge uh, played this game on uh, PC yet, so that's why I continue is not available. Uh, but I have played it on the Switch, and I really liked it. And I saw that it's um, on the Game Pass, so I thought, why not? Let's. Play Octopath Traveler together. Um, so I think we'll probably do it like an hour uh, today, and I will probably do more parts than just one. I think that's a good idea. So who am I gonna start as? Uh, first time I started as Hanit, Hanit, Hanit. I just say Hanit, uh, the hunter. Uh, because she can like uh, capture and tame wildlife, but in all reality, I didn't really like her too much. So uh, l last time, the main party was like uh, Firan, Hanit, because she was a main character, so I couldn't put her away. Ophelia and Cyrus, uh, Tressa, like. Cyrus is a mage, she's a healer, and also like somewhat magic. Um, Fear is a thief, and single handed weapons. Uh, Alfin is also a medic. Primrose is a dancer, and Oberic is a warrior. Oh, I just noted it, it stands still. An apothecary. Thief, hunter, cleric, scholar, merchant, or warrior. And I thought about who I will pick this time. And I think I will do... Cyrus. Or will I? Your name is Cyrus and you are a scholar. You teach at the Royal Academy in Atlas Dun Dum, and f though you have num numerous ad admirers, your only true passion is the pursuit of knowledge. There is so much more I would learn. One day you realize that an invaluable tome has vanished from the Royal Library. Pigwing Pickwing your insatiable curiosity. If I pronounce anything wrong, that's because, well, English isn't my first language, so yeah. Or I think the other uh, option would be Olberic. Uh, your name is Olberic and you are a warrior. Once a proud knight, he lost both king and kingdom in a bloody coup. Today, you serve as a master at arms for a remote mountain village. To what end do I swing my blade? The question tortured you, Knights of the Restless Night. Then one day you overhear a name from your past, giving you a new purpose. And I think the third real option would I think be Firon, uh, but I think I will take him as a secondary character in my party. And I think I will take Cyrus as my main. Begin your adventure as Cyrus. Of course I will. Uh, I hope that uh, it's not too loud. And Music. so it was that Atlas Dam was founded some two centuries ago. That's nice. I don't even have to like uh, say anything. They're, they say it themselves. Indeed, our fair city-state is among the longest standing on the continent of Austera. But there was another city-state with a history as long and proud as our own that came to a tragic ruin only eight short years ago. Now, who can tell me its name? How about you, Therese? <laughs> I, um, I think it was... Now, now. No need to get all flustered. There's no shame in not knowing an answer, so long as you have a desire to learn. 
The answer is in your textbook. Go on now, look it up. Yes, Professor. Let's see. I believe it was Sornberg. That is correct. Hornberg was ruled over by a royal family said to be descended from priests of an ancient and long forgotten religion. On the other hand, our fair Atlas Dam was founded by one of the original clans that inhabited the Flatlands. Who can tell me how many clans lived in the Flatlands at the time? Your Highness? The histories have it that eight clans did live in the Flatlands in those days. The histories have it that eight, the, the eight clans did live in the Flatlands in those days. Like, uh, I, re I really hate that, uh, how she says it. Correct you are, your highness. I mean, yeah, it's like scholarly and all that, but... It, it sounds like she has a stick in her pair of It was a time of great strife here in the Flatlands, as the eight clans waged a long and bitter war. Change would come when the armies of Grandport invaded these lands some two centuries ago. At the time, the rulers of Grandport sought to exert their influence over territories inland. Ironically, this compelled the warring tribes to put aside their differences and unite against their common foe. So like, <laughs> it might be a bad comparison, but like, uh, how the um, Germans united against the uh, uh, Romans a bit, isn't it? I'd say oh, so. But look at the time. Uh, we'll pick up where we left off next time. I, I see no clock here. It's... 1925. Don't forget to read. I mean, it would it would be like a pretty late lecture. for uh, school. And be prepared to answer questions on any of the material within. Yes, Professor. Thank you for another most stimulating lecture, Professor Albright. Another most stimulating lecture. Fucking hell. Hello? Also, oh, cracking from a fingers if you are wondering. Ah, Professor Albright. Mercedes from the Roy Guard Library came by with a message for you. Seems today you're lucky. Today is your lucky day. You've been granted permission to enter the special archives. Splendid! Splendid! Finally, I can begin my re research. The library is just outside the palace. I'd best my case. I may have. <laughs> I may should have taken Oberyn, just because he talks more like I do, <laughs> probably. Use the radar in the bottom right to check the area and find the hiding. Continue the story here. Side story, starting point. Save point. Hidden item. Exits to neighboring areas. Oh, I can also turn it off or on. What she got it to say? What do, uh, do you have to say? Uh, I don't know if uh, I can even talk to you, boy. Can I, can I talk to you? No. Ah, okay, I think you can only talk to the people having the talk symbol over them. Greetings! His Majesty possesses a unique understanding of the scholarly pursuits. Not bad, eh? He founded the Lo Royal Library and Academy where nobles and commoners alike can learn freely. He's Russian. D don't judge him. Let's sit on the throne for a bit. King Cyrus. All hail the King of Kings. 
I don't even know if Cyrus was the King of Kings, but anyway. Kinda steal the treasure from there. I would like to steal some treasure. Hello, Therese. Ah. I did not come that way. This is a lie. <laughs> Profess. And there you are. Uh, Professor Albright. Professor Albright. <gasps> Fuck you, Mary. <laughs> oh, thank heavens you're still here. I thought I had missed you. Your Highness. What can I do for you, Your Highness? If you can spare the time, I have no. <laughs> if you can spare the time, I had a question about something we learned today. But of course! Your Highness, it would be my pleasure to answer anything. Mm -hmm. After all, my role as a tutor is as important to me as any of my research. Unfortunately, I cannot spare much time. Is the question a quick one? Yes, Professor. It will not take long. I was just wondering about the ancient religion of Hornbook. Pray tell, what did they worship? Mary, you fucking idiot. I told you that it's long forgotten. God fucking damn it. A very astute question, Your Highness. However, I fear that nearly all the texts detailing the nature of the religion were burned and lost when Hornbook fell. I see, a shame that. The truth is. I do, however, have a theory of my own. I believe that the royal family of Hornbook were guardians of an ancient power. Mind you, this is not idle speculation. My theory is based on the fact that... Oh. No. Fuck you, Mary. I will kill you for that. <laughs> Let us continue the discussion another time. My apologies for keeping you, Professor. With pleasure. No need for apologies. And it would be my pleasure, Your Highness. I said I was busy, but apparently I was not. That such questions occur to you is a sign of a sharp and curious mind. I thank you. Your lectures on the history of the realm are most fascinating to me. <coughs> For if I do not learn of our past, how can I hope to lead my people to a bright future? Man, she actually not too bad as a... Princess, I suppose. Like, you may, I mean, there they, they have been worse ones. <laughs> A most admirable philosophy, Your Highness. The people of this land are truly fortunate to be led by one of such wisdom and kindness. As I am truly fortunate to have the opportunity to serve in some small way. And I will also take uh, over the kingdom later. Fuck you, Mary. <laughs> Mary, can you shut the fuck up? You are far too kind, Professor Albright. I'm proud to be your student. I don't oh. think I will do much more talking today. Oh dear, I'm running late. You were running like 10 minutes okay. ago. <laughs> Pray do not forget your assignment, Your Highness. Farewell. Of course, Professor. Oh, Therese. Ah, Therese, I see you have been stalking us. Or are you sleeping? Yes. Did you have a question for me as well? No. Uh, I mean, no. G good day, Professor. Hmm, curious. Most curious. I want to go back in and steal the treasure. This is my greatest goal in life. Uh, 
Herb of Awakening, Inspiring Plume, and Healing Grape. You can steal the treasure. Thunder Soulstone. Thunder Soulstone. My god. What, what do you want? I've been tapping here. I don't have anything here for you. Honestly, I don't. Well then, let's continue with the story, shall we? Let's save. Yeah, all save games empty. Let's continue with the story, shall we? Shall we? It's me, Cyrus. Good day, Mercedes. Cyrus Albright. Here to browse the special archives. <laughs> oh, Professor Albright, you're looking quite eager today. <laughs> when I heard that an original copy of the Church of the Flame, a complete history, had been donated to our archives, I simply had to be the first to see it. I see. You're more on top of our collection than I am. Just sign here. With pleasure. With pleasure. I mean, uh, he, he said it himself, so... Hmm. Huh. Hmm? There's something in this. Actually, For someone known as the most brilliant mind in the Royal Academy. <laughs> when you talk about books, you're as giddy as a schoolboy. When you put it uh, that way, yes. Much as a child is fascinated by a new toy. <coughs> I mean, titillated by the uh, prospect of acquiring new knowledge. I'm titillated. Fucking hell. I am titillated, okay. New word in my vocabulary. Uh, fuck, I'm, I'm gonna know that fucking word. Damn it. <laughs> like you wanna say that fucking word is good. Titulated. <laughs> uh, fuck. I, I, I'm also way too childish. <laughs> Just like Cyrus. Everything. Right, the expression on your face says it all. Anyway, everything seems to be in order. And try a quest for knowledge, Professor. Many thanks. My dear, I most certainly will. How odd, the tome is nowhere to be found. How odd, the tome is nowhere to be found. Did someone return it to the wrong shelf? Hmm, not here either. An interesting dilemma. These archives are strictly guarded and cur curated. Wherever could it have gone? Hello, Professor Mercedes. Albright. Professor Albright, the headmaster would see you at once. She has that voice, so I can use that voice too. <sighs> of all the times too. Oh well, might I ask of you a favor? Hmm? What might that be? The truth is... The tome I mentioned before seems to have gone missing. Could you locate it for me? I see. Missing? Huh. I'll begin looking at once, Professor. Many thanks. Many thanks, my dear. Cyrus Albright, by your request, sir. Do enter. He seems evil. My apologies for summoning you on such short notice. He is a portrait of himself. He's definitely master. evil. 
That treatise on arcane studies you published. What in the gods' names were you thinking? And the music is definitely evil. Sir? I do believe I made my hypothesis perfectly clear. I'm not talking about your hypothesis. You went out of your way to cite one of the texts in our special archives. The knowledge housed in those tombs is the Royal Academy's greatest treasure. It is not to be divulged to the public at your whim. Laying it bare in one of your silly papers is out of the question. Have I said already that it's evil? I am aware of the value of those <laughs> tomes, Headmaster. It is for that very reason I would share the knowledge with my peers. You are to share nothing! That wisdom is for the Academy and the Academy alone. But that goes against everything. Enough, Cyrus! Fuck you, Headmaster Ivan. This argument is sure to fall on deaf ears. The Headmaster sees knowledge as a metal or precious stone. Something to be appreciated by its rightful owner alone. Knowledge is power, and power is to be hoarded. An unfortunate attitude, indeed. Indeed. My sincere apologies, Headmaster. It won't happen again. Is there anything else you need of me? That is all. You may go. Wait, there was one last thing. Sir? I heard the special archives will be closing early today. If you have research to do there, I would do so quickly. Good gods. It's as if he enjoys watching me suffer. Thank you for your concern, Headmaster. In that case, I'll be on my way. Enter. Excuse me. What's the matter? Yes, what is this, Tyrese? It's it's a pro Professor Albright, sir. I don't think the Julia is say much positive about me. Up, up to the library. Can I help you? Ah, Professor Albright. A moment of your time. Did you have any luck finding finding the tome? My apologies. I'm afraid not. Say it is not well, so. Well, that is most unfortunate. One might conclude that it had been stolen. Actually, Professor, taking books out from these archives is strictly forbidden. Well, yes, that's why I said that it was stolen. You fucking idiot. And as you know, the keys to the vault are entrusted to only a select few. Quite honestly, it would be easier to steal the crown of the king's head. That is probably false, milady. Oh. An impregnable vault. A disappearing tome. It would seem we have quite the mystery on our hands. Well, yes, of course. Because if they do not have the key, how could they enter? And only a select few have the key. And no one would ever take a key. We, we all know that because that's fevery. And the mysteries of the world are meant to be solved. Or so the scholar in me says. Would you not agree? Hmm. If it had been stolen, 
I would say it's a job for the city guard. But I can see you won't let it go till you've cracked the case, as it were. Indeed. You could say that, indeed. A bad habit I just can't seem to break. Once a puzzle is placed before me, I simply cannot rest until I've worked out a solution. I see. Well, far be it from me to stand in your way. It must be tough being a genius. Ah, truly it is. Ahaha, <laughs> I will not deny it. Worry not, the tome will be back on the shelf before you can bet an eyelash. Take care. Right, thanks. Best of luck in your search. Time to do some research. And the game is afoot. Hmm. Now, where to begin my search? While he searches for the shit, I'm uh, off for three minutes, I suppose. You can just skip. You will see it when Cyrus moves again. <laughs>
Splendid! But of course! Not exactly. A hole. Ah. Uh. 
Ah, uh, no. Which means that... Yes. Shall we begin? Now then. my research on you. What is the logical course of action?
interesting dilemma. Oh, flames! Rage! Rock! What is the logical problem? Now. Oh, flames! Rage! Rock! Not bad. A passing. My research on you. An interesting dilemma. Let's try this. Now, ah, what next? Oh, ice! Here's some food! What is the logical course of action? What's this? I still have so much to learn. Settle this like gentlemen. An interesting. <laughs> and... ah! Oh, flames! Rage! Rock! An interesting dilemma. Thus ends your lesson. Time to teach you a lesson. An interesting dialogue. <laughs> Not bad. A passing. Time to teach you a lesson. Now, 
What next? Search on you. An interesting dilemma. <laughs> like gentlemen. Search on you. Now, what the
course of action. <laughs> oh, ice! Here's some fruit! <laughs> now, what the... Not bad. A passing. Can't we settle this like gentlemen? What? Excuse me. A moment of your time. <laughs> Come now. The truth is... I don't think 
This one will listen to reason. What is the logical course of action? Let's try this. Let's try this. Let's try this. Um... Uh -huh. 
parallel. Oh, ice. Here's some through. Not bad. A passing. Just so. Say it is not so. Most intriguing. Awesomeness.
I've brought Professor Albright, as asked, sir. Good. Enter. Thank you, Lucia. Yes, Headmaster. What can I do for you? <clears throat> Something tells me he's not about to offer a commendation. Professor Albright, a most troubling report has reached my ears. A report, sir? An anonymous source claims that you have abused your prestigious position to enter into an illicit relationship with Her Highness the Princess. Oh. And you believe this report, sir? If it is untrue, then say so. Why, it is unfounded, unsubstantiated, balderdash of the highest order. I would like to take your words at face value, Professor, but I fear the situation is not so simple. A rumor regarding the royal family, even an unsubstantiated one such as this, is sure to spread quickly. If we do not take swift action, Princess Mary's good name could be forever sunk. That is something that simply cannot be allowed to happen. Surely you understand. And so what do you intend to do with me, sir? It is not an easy decision to make. Dismissing you outright would be tantamount to an admission of your guilt. If I may be so bold, Headmaster, what about a sabbatical? Professor Albright has put on extended leave, while official accounts state that he's doing field work in a distant land. What say you, Cyrus? This way, both the Academy's reputation and your own will remain intact. My reputation? Do we have a problem, Professor? Not at all, Headmaster. On the contrary, 
This might prove the perfect opportunity. Opportunity? For what? As a matter of fact, there is a matter which has piqued my interest of late. I was just wondering when I might find the time to do a bit of research in the field. I think I will set forth on a journey. In search of an ancient tome that disappeared 15 years ago. Besides, if I am not permitted to share what I have learned with my peers and the public, there is little point in continuing my research here. Is that so? Do tell, Professor. What is it that you intend to investigate? As regards a certain tome. Now, if you will forgive me, I must begin packing for my journey. Good day to you, Headmaster. An enigma as ever, that one. Hmm. Professor! Oh, Therese, what is it? I... I heard that you were leaving the Academy. Then you heard true. P professor I'm... I'm so sorry. I see. So you were the source of the rumor. You... you knew? Not until just this moment, when you apologized. And yet, I cannot fathom your motive. You're always helping Her Highness answer... I just wanted you to pay more attention to me. And that's why you went to the Headmaster. Y yes but I... I just wanted to get you in a little trouble. I didn't think they would. I am so sorry, Professor. Can you ever forgive me? Worry not, my dear. It just so happens that I was looking for a... You were? For some time now, I've wanted to travel the realm and see what can be learned beyond these halls. I dare say the timing couldn't have been better. You see, there's a certain matter I simply can't wait to investigate. So fret not, my girl, if any... Besides, I am not entirely without fault in the matter. Indeed, I have not been as attentive to you as I should. Had I realized your true intention sooner, I would not be in this position. Professor, whatever do you... If only I had realized how devoted you were... My studies. I have always striven to treat all my students equally. And yet, Her Highness is always eager to ask questions, and I was all too eager to answer them. In doing so, I may have given the impression that I favored her above you and the others. This was not my intention, but I am at fault all the same. Yes, if only I had seen you for the ardent and devoted young scholar that you are! Um, Professor, perhaps you're not quite as sharp as I thought you were. Yes? <sighs> Never mind. In that case, I should be off. Pray do not shirk your studies, my girl. Yes, Professor. Will... will I ever see you again? I do 
not see why not, provided we both still live. of action. Hello there.
And thus... Hi-ho! Fare thee well, then. <laughs>